Teach your children your language. Teach your children your mother tongue. English is not our language. English is not our mother tongue. You are living in Owere. You are living in any part of Igbo land or any part of Nigeria. Then your children does not know how to speak your language and you seem to be comfortable with it. You are not you you can't you see that you are mis, you have misled or misled these children. Your language is their primary language. If you are from Igbo, your Igbo language is from is their primary language. If you are from Hausa, your Hausa language is their primary language. If you are from Yoruba, the same thing. And you want them to know English so that their age mates in the city, living, their age mates in the city will not do shakara for them with English. Really? You that is imposing English on these children, we are you taught English from childhood. Why can't your children use their mother tongue to do shakara for those people in city? And you, as for you that is in Abuja, Portakot, or Lagos, or even Benin, you are busy bombarding these children with English. You don't speak your language in the house. You don't, you, even if when someone tries to speak the language for them in the house, you will be shunning them not to speak that language. Your language has not turned to that thing. When these children now grow up, they will be struggling to, to, to speak their language. Some of them can't even hear. I visited one of my sister in a way, and her daughter of eight years cannot speak Igbo and they're living in Igbo land. This woman prohibits even her husband not to speak Igbo to her daughters, her children. And she feels she's doing them a favor. Some of our people in abroad they, they, they find it as an obligation to teach their children as long as they bond them. As soon as they birth them, they will start teaching them their mother tongue. And these children will learn. Now you that is living in, a, in, 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 in your motherland, your children cannot speak your language. And you think you are doing, you are, you are trying. Those of us that, that, that learned English from adulthood, we know it's not easy to learn it, but it's more difficult to start learning your language when you have grown. It's more difficult to start learning your mother tongue when you, are, when you have at grown that stage. But as for English, they will learn in primary school, they will learn in secondary, and they will learn in university they will perfect it in their university so you leave you what you're supposed to do to do on the language you're supposed to teach your children and be busy teaching them another mass language you are not doing them any favor let your children know your language if you are a mom or dad readjust yourself sit tighten your seat belt Know that you have a hey, you have made that mistake. Will you are we going to continue in this same mistake? Are you going to continue to mislead the children with English? And you bury your mother tongue because of English. English they will learn eventually. Then if they fail to learn this their mother tongue from childhood, they will struggle with it all through their life. Just know that your mother tongue, your language is your identity. Don't throw away your identity for English mass own. I don't know if I have made a common sense with this post, but please help me to circulate this message to all moms and dads, uncles and aunties. If you are intending to marry a wife, show her, draw her ear that your children will never speak English first. 
let it be an assignment that everyone in your house will speak Igbo or your Hausa or Yoruba language to your children until they have grown to know another language. That first two years, they will stay in your house before they go to school. Use it to teach them their mother tongue. 